He's uh, Stallone's best friend in the film, but he's gone a little too far, too much uh, combat stress and, and um, excessive behavior and uh, a little bit of drugs. And he's kind of, uh, when we first meet him, he's, he's really uh, out on the limb. He's, uh, he's gone too far and uh, Stallone has to get rid of him and get rid of me. And, um, <clears throat> and that really pains uh, Gunner that uh, Barney has to fire him. Sly wrote a character that it's very a multifaceted guy. He's a tough guy. He's very lethal and dangerous, but he has like a funny side, a kind of dark sense of humor, and also he's like uh, he's like a kind of a pitiful character in many ways. You know, he wants people to love him, and and um, and that's really why he's doing drugs and, and why he has his big problems. So there's some scenes in there where. You know, I really have to reach down and, and uh, try to bring some, you know, emotional truth to a guy who figures in a big budget action movie, which is, it's just kind of cool. You know, it's, it's unusual and, and it really takes a good script. I think um, everybody in the cast probably was a little starstruck for all the other people in the cast, you know, and I was too, of course. You know, I know Sly, but I, I never met... Uh, never met Jet or I never met Jason and, and um, I think it was maybe mutual t to some extent but I mean, they're all very nice guys and very down to earth and you know, professionals, easy to work with um, and also I think when you're on screen with them there's a little extra kind of uh, electricity because you're kind of checking out the other person's game a little bit while they're working with them. I really enjoy that. I think, um, I think the audience will too. Working with Sly again, it's it's really a pleasure. I mean, I'm I'm uh, I'm still uh, kind of shocked that I'm here, and after 25 years, that I'm <laughs> squaring off with Stallone again. I never thought that would happen. Uh, yeah, I'm still learning from him as a director. He's he's down there working, and uh, every time I'm on the set, I try to watch how he does things because you know I try to direct my own little movies on the side, and uh, and he's the master, so he's a great guy to learn from. These are big guys, and some of them are very, very kind of yeah, dangerous in real life. And I think that's one thing that's kind of uh, went away a little bit in the 80s. Because in the old days, you'd have to do more of your own stunts and your own fighting, and, and you had sort of a more, maybe perhaps a little more physical actor. And Sly, obviously, is one of the first ones, one of the originals, and he's bringing that back now, and hopefully the kids will like that.